Um, the next question, Sheikh, is <clears throat> I have been married for a few months now and I have followed all the Islamic guidelines. My mother is not talking to me and it's been more than six months, even though I've tried my best to reach out to her, but she wants nothing to do with me. I'm not sure what else I can do. Why? So how would I know? <laughs> see, see such questions, they assume that I have a crystal ball. I don't. But because I've done a lot of counseling, I can tell. Number one, either he married her against his, her mother's, uh, his mother's will. So she's from a different tribe, different clan, different ethnicity, and or not the mother's niece as usual. <laughs> Number two, he married her, but he's not allowing his mother to control her. So she's living in a joint family, but the mother is not happy because she wants her to wake up early after Fajr, start cooking breakfast and cleaning and doing the chores and washing and ironing and everything. And he as a real man says, no, she's obliged only to serve me. I married her. You want to have her? You marry her. But alhamdulillah, this is not halal in Islam. So I'm the one who married her. She serves me and my children. Three, a possibility that he married this woman. The mom was happy. Everything was fine. He moved out. And the mom is refusing to talk to him because he's breaking the family ties and his siblings are thinking of doing the same and she's losing grip over her flock. So until I know the reason, but you get the point. Eh? Yeah. I mean, that's a good assessment. Sure. Allah. Allah.